name is Wayne and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the multifunction camera on a W222 or 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550. We'll go over some of the features of what it is used for and um, how it assists your car in safety. And we'll tell you, uh, we'll show you how to remove and reinstall it in your car. Uh, first I'm going to change view so we can take a good look at it from the outside and then uh, we'll get started on how to uh, remove it. Alright, so right in front of me is the multi-function camera which is is uh, you know a few uh, cameras that basically watches the road as you drive it has many functions we're going to go over some of those functions and, um, and I'll tell you how to remove uh, should your multi-function camera um, fail you know you can check it by your your scanner and you have to remove it I'll show you how to do that but um, let's get started all right, so the multifunction camera is behind this compartment right here, and um, I'll show you how to uh, take it off and remove it. But let's just go over a few things of what it actually does for the car in terms of safety, and so you have a better understanding of, of, of what it does. So some of the, the functions um, that the multifunction camera um, does and, and use with other systems in the car, we'll just go over them one by one. So the first thing is, Distronic Plus and Distronic Plus, uh, as you know, is uh, just a fancy name for cruise control. Um, there's also Distronic Plus with steer assist and stop and go. There's adaptive uh, or adaptive high beam assist, and there's adaptive high beam assist plus. And what a adaptive high beam assist plus is basically at night uh, when it's pitch black and it's just uh, dark, um, the car automatically. Uh, switches to a high beam and if there's another vehicle coming it'll switch back to low beam automatically um, the adaptive high beam assist basically just when it's uh, dark at night it will switch to a high beam but you have to manually switch it back um, the ad adaptive assist plus basically does that automatically so next thing we have is the brake assist plus with cross traffic assist basically what that does that applies the um, Breaking right up to the point uh, at an emergency uh, if an emergency is needed and that happened to me uh, Three times while I was driving this car where my foot was on the brake pedal And I felt the car apply more brake pressure to make sure I was coming to a full stop um, In order to avoid hitting the car that was in front of me So the next thing you have after that you have the speed limit assist and the speed limit assist basically works with the Distronic plus and what the uh, the Stronic Plus, uh, as you know, adjusts the speed to the car in front of it. What the speed limit assist does is basically go one step further, look at the signs, the speed signs that's on the highway, and adjust the speed of your car automatically. So that's a nice uh, feature. The uh, lane keeping assist, the active lane keeping assist, the traffic sign assist, the active body control, um, pre-safe brake. Um, this is all part of the multi-function uh, camera which we're gonna uh, show you in a minute what it looked like so that's basically what it does the pre-safe brake is an automatic brake uh, braking system which additionally uses radar sensors to help identify critical situations so at a uh, speed between 30 kilometers and 200 kilometers uh, a distance of some 200 meters to have the car is scanned for a radar reflective obstacle and some two and a half seconds before impact, the driver is warned of a potential danger. You're going to hear like a, a little noise in your car, beep, 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 um, going off in your car. At this stage, the driver applies the brakes. The car automatically delivers the brake force needed to bring the car to a stop. If that is a physical possible, uh, regardless. Regardless of the pressure applied by the driver, the car will apply more um, pressure to the brake in order to bring the car to a, a complete stop. So it's, it's a very nice feature and um, It's good to have so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, Get to that camera this piece right here, which houses the camera. You don't need any tools You basically just pry it pry it off until it comes All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well and then we're just gonna go ahead and Remove this compartment. All right, so I got the main cover off and you can see access to the to the camera here and um, the centerpiece I was talking about has two slots uh, where the hole is um, right there which you probably want to pry that off very gently um, the part number for the cover which is this main piece will turn around 
we'll go ahead and just uh, come into it. It's 8222-821-0300. And that's for this, this plastic um, piece that covers your multifunction camera. So we'll go ahead. Now we're going to take a look at the camera itself, uh, which is this piece here, the metal piece, and take a little bit uh, further look at it. And we'll take a look at this centerpiece that I was having trouble, uh, difficulty uh, removing. And you see the two slots uh, there that basically goes into uh, these two slots here. And the part number for this little piece here, this is, um, let's go ahead and go a little bit closer, is 8222-811-0000. Uh, and that's for this centerpiece right here, which basically... It, it goes right there just like that all right so we're gonna move that connector there and go ahead and take a little screwdriver here and just all right, so all right so this is actually out we can go ahead we're gonna move the camera back and then and then uh, pull it down all right so one more connector which is there that we're just gonna pull out and if you can see the camera where it actually slides into the slot. All right, so now we have the camera removed. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Go ahead and take a good look at it. That's your camera there. We'll go ahead and take a look at the part number here this was for the camera. And we'll put this down. Pretty nice here. Now, uh, uh, one thing I have to remind you, do not, under any circumstances, um, touch your hand to the cameras themselves. Otherwise, you'll, you'll destroy it. They're very sensitive. I'll go ahead and put this here. And we're going to take a look at another part number, um, which is that back uh, component where the camera hangs to. That's A222-821-0411. So that's actually the frame of what the, your camera attaches to. So... Um, that basically goes there. Now, I've seen some videos where you can actually, um, if you want to install a dash cam, you can actually run the um, ground, the accessory, and the constant through the wires. But I wouldn't recommend it doing it to this car. This car is too expensive. What I would do if you bought the um, dash cam, I would run the wires. Actually, you have two other locations other than here to have those three wires. You can attach it to the, to the cigarette. Um, socket or you can run it and attach it to this component here which you also have ground accessory and constant hot which would be a lot better solution you run the wires here and um, hook it up to your dash cam and you put your dash cam here so that's basically the rear view camera and like I said the only way, reason for you to ever replace this is if your scanner tells you that it's bad and you know your car is not functioning up to par as far as the all the different um, components I was telling you about, which is the Stronic Plus and some of the other features that the multi-function camera control. So um, now that we have that off, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in reverse. I do wanna show you the cover, which is here, and this end piece here actually flips down. Go ahead and flip it down, looks like that. So, and then the component that I had such a difficult time getting the hole of, um, actually taken off, um, that goes there. I'm going to show you, which is this piece here, and this piece actually goes into this two slides. See the, the, the hooks? You see that hook? Then you got another hook there, and that actually goes into the two holes, one there, one there. So if you're going to put this together, um, it'll go down like this. That hook goes there, and that hook um, goes right there. And I did all this by hand. I didn't use any tools. You use tools, you probably crack this. This is plastic, so you want to be very careful with it. So we can go ahead, put the camera back, put all the electronic um, wiring back, and um, and that should be it. So, all right. So now we have the camera put back. We can go ahead and put back the um, electrical electrical connectors. I'm going to take that and push that back into the slot. Make sure it clicks. I'm going to do the same thing for this connector there, which is... All right, take this wire here. 
I'm gonna push it into the slot. Make sure it clicks. Everything is where it belongs. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna take the, uh, this little guy here. I'm gonna push it in first, facing this way. Remember these hooks. Let me zoom out a little bit. These hooks actually goes into to these two holes here. So we can go ahead and we're gonna face it in this direction, this way. This will go through here, just like that, and just uh, rest it there. Now we're gonna take the main component, which is here. This is actually gonna go back, and you have a little um, slot here. You have another one on the other side, and we're just gonna snap this back into place. All right, so we got almost everything back in order. We have this little slot. Go ahead and take this slot out. I'm just gonna push it in, push it up like that. So now it's nice and smooth. And go ahead, snap the rest of the components back. And now we started, we're back where we started. All right, so, so this is the multi-function uh, camera. Um, and like I said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed and you learned a lot from this um, video. Subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you soon.